You're here to unbox and test out this 40 volt Ryobi snow blower. Ryobi hooked me up with this because I was complaining about my gas snow blower that came with the house that started leaking gas and made me stink like exhaust. So they sent me this and it also came with this jet fan blower, leaf blower that I already have one of. with the bundle and these sell for 848 Canadian without that bundle. I'm not exactly sure what the total price will be. And this is a one stage, so you have to push it. It's not self-propelled. So let's open it up and see if it can do everything that it says on the box. And this one comes with two big batteries, which I already have a bunch of from my lawnmower. So once we rip this open, we can't really see if it's more powerful. Uh, we can see the variable speed. inch clearing width and 13 inch clearing depth. I guess we'll find out if it's a big snowfall. Throw snow 35 feet away. So let's see. Hundred and eighty degree directional shoot for throwing snow. I assume that'll work fine. Hassle-free push button start, which would be a lot nicer than trying to pull the start on my gas mower or plugging it in to get it started. Dual active battery ports for extended runtime, which I know works really well on my rotary mower. It's got two slots there. LED headlights for increased visibility. Oddly enough, that is pretty nice to have if it gets a little dark. And folding aluminum handles for easy storage. Look how easy this lawn mower folds up. So I assume it's gonna do well. Pretty much comes in one piece, so this should be pretty easy to take out and set up right away. Okay, so we got two batteries that I'll just add to my charging setup right now. I've got a fully charged battery ready to go. The snow thrower angle thing. One more charger to add to the pile. And the instructions. Get this out of the cardboard. Set that up and I guess we're gonna have to screw it in and then lock it in place. Okay, I managed to tighten this up, so I guess this is the mode that you use for throwing snow and then you can use that to tighten it up. Okay, so if it's 180 degrees, we can turn it all the way left. And now we lock that in. So we can go all the way one way, all the way the other way, and then change the angle. Next, I guess all we have to do is throw a battery in here. And then to start it up, we'll pull this, push this button, Here's your auger speed. And then this will turn our chute. So that's perfect. So while these two fresh batteries charge, I'm gonna grab one of my other batteries and let's toss that in. And if I push this button, it should start. Perfect. overall for light duty snow removal and if you don't mind pushing this is great it actually saved my back compared to using a shovel having a two-stage one that actually drove itself would have been amazing but overall for how compact this gets and how much snow you can actually move without hurting your back it's very nice and not smelling like exhaust is the best part because then I can actually pick up my kid after I move the snow off my driveway and also I can use this while my kid is sleeping. That's how quiet it is. So for that, yeah, it's, it's good. I really enjoy this.